In this video, we're going to go over what your payment options are and how to set up your preferred option. Eventbrite offers two payment processing options, Eventbrite Payment Processing, which is direct deposit, or PayPal. Eventbrite Payment Processing is the default method for accepting payments online. With PayPal as a payment processor, certain features are unavailable, including reserved seating, registration transfers, and passing on all fees to the attendee. Only the Eventbrite service fee can be passed on to your attendees if you are using PayPal. To set up your payment processor, you will need the permission Manage Payments and Payouts, which can be found in the Team Management section of your organization settings. Starting from your event dashboard, once you have at least one paid ticket type set up, navigate to the left-hand side menu. Click on Payments and Tax and select Payment Options. You will see the country where your bank is situated and the currency you are collecting in. Below that, you will see the payment processor. With Eventbrite Payment Processing, attendees can stay on Eventbrite or on your website to complete their purchase. Payouts are easy as all fees are collected automatically and features including reserved seating, registration transfers, and passing on all fees to the attendee are available. Also, when you use Eventbrite Payment Processing, Eventbrite is the merchant of record and manages chargebacks for you to help you save money. Fees will be dependent on your account. For more information on Eventbrite fees, please visit our Help Center. PayPal Payment Processing gives you the option to set up online payments for countries and currencies where Eventbrite Payment Processing is not available. If the country and currency you selected for your event are not supported, then you will see PayPal as the default payment processor. Funds from ticket sales will go directly into your PayPal account after PayPal deducts their payment processing fee from each purchase. It can take a few days for these to show in your bank account. Eventbrite will send a monthly invoice to collect the Eventbrite service fee from your transactions. Please visit PayPal's Help Center to better understand PayPal's processing fees. You can change your payment processor up until the time you sell your first ticket. You can also add additional payment options for attendees, such as accepting checks or the option to pay at the event or by invoice, by setting up an offline payment option in addition to the online payment option. And that's how you set up your payment options. Visit our Help Center or YouTube channel to find more tips and resources to guide you through creating, managing, and promoting your events on Eventbrite.